From the Carly BTV Newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. A 16-year-old has been arrested in the shooting death of 32-year-old Trey Marcel Smith and 27-year-old Debarius Devontae Sanford. Smith and Sanford were shot and killed at Quick Serve on Emory Highway Sunday night. A Crime Stoppers tip led to the arrest of the teen Wednesday afternoon. The suspect is charged with two counts of murder, two counts of cruelty to children in the first degree, and four counts of aggravated assault. He has being held without bond. A man was arrested early Wednesday morning during a burglary in progress. Bib deputies say surveillance video showed 17-year-old Jordan Terrell Jackson entering Furniture Queen on Sherling Drive by pulling a door and then entering a cricket store through another door connected. Jackson attempted to damage surveillance equipment, steal a cell phone, and searched through drawers. Jackson was arrested on scene and taken to the Bib LEC, where he is charged with two counts of second-degree burglary. He has no bond. The U.S. Senate is launching a bipartisan working group of lawmakers to scrutinize conditions within the Bureau of Prisons. The working group is aimed at developing policies and proposals to strengthen oversight of the federal prison system and improve communication between the Bureau of Prisons and Congress. The group plans to examine the conditions of incarceration inside America's 122 federal prisons, protect human rights, and promote transparency. Republicans in the Florida House of Representatives approve a ban on abortions after 15 weeks, moving to tighten access to the procedure ahead of U.S. Supreme Court decision that could limit abortion rights in America. The GOP-controlled House passed the 15-week abortion ban after several hours of debate between Democrats who said the measure would impose an unnecessary burden on women and Republicans who said they were protecting the unborn. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.